Hello everybody, and welcome back to Skyrim. I, I got a couple of replies to the uh, questions that I posed on the last video that I did of Skyrim. And one of my followers actually asked me to mod it, which I had no idea how to do it. I think it was, was it Carpy DC? I think it might have been. I didn't have a clue what to do, so the last couple of days I've been messing about with Skyrim. I've managed to mod it to a certain extent, as you can see from my character now. He has got jazzy hair and big muscles. Managed to get a character creation um, mod that increased that. I've also got a new follower that I got in Rivervale. Lania. Hello, baby. I've got your back. Yes, thank you. Which is very nice, and I've got a few mods for that on as well. For the, as you can see, for the, Still here. the character. And if I talk right to her, you. I can tweak the options. I think I've already done it, really, but not. There we go. Magic, pause, info, settings, gear. You lead, I'll follow. So, I thought I would let you guys know that I'd done that. I've also uh, put a few mods on for the look of Skyrim as well. Uh, it's a bit dark at the moment, so you can't really tell the difference. I'm currently on my way to uh, Whiterun, is it? making the run over there. I will put a list in the uh, description of all the mods that I'm using. I think I'm using about uh, 14, 15 mods, I think. Uh, I can't tell you the exact amount. I'm sure it's, it's about that. It's quite a lot, I know that. I had to mess about with a couple of them. A couple of them didn't work when I first put them in. and But it's been interesting, actually. I've quite enjoyed it, uh, putting it together. It's got one for the flora. It's got one for the water. Uh, one for the uh, general effects. Are you still with me, Lenny? Yes. And I've put some followers in as well. And some upgrades for the... NPCs. I think these should, the armor should be different than it was before. Yes, it is. Got hit by a One of those... Oop. Oh, push. How does the water look over here? Ah, it's looking pretty good. And it is night time, so you can't really see very much. Right, I'm going to have a look around here, I think, while I'm here. Like I say, it's that long since I played uh, Skyrim, I really haven't got a clue what I'm doing anymore. Uh, obviously, night time, there's not going to be a lot happening anyway, is there? So I might just go to Whiterun. Then I can come out here and mess about afterwards. Is it Whiterun? I can't remember. Something like that. Hello, dear. Uh, have I lost my way here? I think I have. <laughs> What's that? Giant. I don't want to be messing with that at this stage. Uh, I am. How do you found out your skills? I'm level four, <laughs> so I don't really don't want to be messing with that thing. He will kick my ass, big style. Right, let's find out where I've missed the entrance to White Run. I definitely have, I think.
Uh, this could be it. I don't think I went far enough around, did I? What is that? Oh, that's one of those thingy-majigs. I remember them. It's collectible. Alright, okay. Might as well get it while we're around here. Nin root, that's it. They make a noise, don't they? taken care of no thanks to you i didn't see it sorry <laughs> certainly not but a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant yeah 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 that's why i'm here with my shield brothers an outsider eh never heard of the companions uh, no i haven't we are brothers and sisters in honor okay and we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough okay can i join you not for me to say You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Okay, thank you. Speak with the uh, leader of the command unit, companions. Uh, I think the models do look a lot better, don't they? And the armor's definitely different. Definitely. Alright, okay. with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to Yurvaskar. Oh, let's try and find our way into the uh, city. This looks familiar. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, oh, you're such a noob, Nick. You never, you never remember much. Ooh, what was that noise then? I've had one mod that has failed. I'm not. I've been unsuccessful to get it to work so far. And that's the the sexy walk one for the uh, female companions. It seems to fail every time I load it. I've tried loading it, uh, starting the game with it disabled and turning it off and dis enabling it and turning it on. It doesn't seem to work. So that's a bit of a shame. But I will, I will look into it and see what I can do about getting it done. Look at those arms, eh? Don't mess with me. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood calls for the Jarls. Aid. Riverwood's in danger too. You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. Okay. We shall do that. I can handle it. We'll pay whatever it this takes. Dragons, we must have more swords for the Imperial said, soldiers. Oh, that's, I put the cloaks on as well, so that's looking good. A cloak mod. And ask Yorland Greymane for help. <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Drunken Huntsman, that's all I can hear. Hello, friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Uh, why name the Drunken Huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. 
He shot an arrow that pierced my... Well, rump. <laughs> After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Cool. Okay, you should talk to for work. Try Holder, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much for your business. Who are you? Janessa. I can blade and shadow. Silence. Another time, perhaps. Seek me out here. Okay, I'm not paying you for your time. Not a chance. Right. Let's move on. Still here. Oh. That's what becomes my house, isn't it? Breeze Hall. Yes. I remember that. You tried me. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made a chance. Okay, I didn't see you arguing, but what were you two arguing about? <laughs> my sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Uh, so you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Uh, you're not from Skyrim, are you? Ha! Neither are you, eh? Good to see another red guard. I'd like to think we bring a little heat to this frozen wasteland. Okay. Find that so Wow, very atmospheric storm. Looks like all the companions are coming in. Alright, which is the banded mare? Is that it there? I think it is. It's all looking here. Get out of this weather. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Okay, thank you. Hello. The security Ooh. in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Okay, that's not very nice, is it? I'm just having a look, <laughs> if you don't mind. Very nice. Friends like you are hard to find. Ooh. And very valuable to me. Don't don't stand in the fire, Lynn, are you? Please. If you need more food or drink, speak to Holden. All right, sit on the bench a minute. Let's see if you send somebody over. Hello. Hello. Who? Oh. Commander Caius. <laughs> Walks around you want a drink? like a preening rooster. Oh, there we go. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Um. None of the above, I don't think. I'm not certainly paying for food. No. Nope. Okay. Thank you. Now, please. No more questions. Out with it. Please, no more questions. I've got your back. That makes me want to ask Mind you some more questions. And you'll always be welcome. Well, some deep breathing you're doing there, honey. If there's nothing else, I have work to do. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? What can I get you? Uh, heard any rumors lately? Have you seen that shrine of Asura? <laughs> they say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay. Uh, we can learn a bit more about magic, but I know the answer to that. That is the, uh... Need anything else? Just let me know. Don't look at me like that, I know you. Hello. There. Okay. Um, Mikhail. Don't want to speak to you yet, I don't think. I'm going to talk to you. Need something? Oh, follower. Of course, she's one of the now, if you'll group of followers that I put in and modded. 
Okay, I just wonder why she was looking so good. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. All right, okay. Who are you? The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. I'm right behind you. Oh, <laughs> yes, so you are. Thank you. Um. Right, what else can we do? Let's have a look at. Uh, oh, forget. I have to be so close all the time. Oh, I don't want to wait. Or do I? Let's wait till daytime. What are we at? 4:29 a.m. Let's wait till eight. Oh, hello, people. Oh, Othgood. I remember you, Othgood. You were my main companion. I think you can go blade to blade with me. You'd be dead in six seconds. Mm. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Uh, not sure I've got a hundred gold, but okay, you're on. No weapons, no magic, no crime. Let's go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Someone else in the fight, eh? <laughs> Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, <laughs> Lenea! How about chopping up some wood for the fires? What have you done that for? <laughs> you killed Uthgood, the unbroken. Oh my word! Who this is terrible? Is broken. Right behind you. <laughs> um, when was the last save? I can't have Uthgood dead. That's not right, Lord. Where, where, where did it? Really? Oh, the sleeping giant in. No, nope, that's not it, is it? It's not saved since I got into... <sighs> well, with the death of Uthgird, this brings this episode to an abrupt end. That's really not the kind of music when I'm in mourning, mate. Leave it alone, eh? Um, maybe when we come back next episode, Uthgood will be somehow miraculously revived? Uh, let's find out. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, don't forget, if you do like the videos, leave me a like and subscribe. This is Old Grey, signing off. Mm -hmm.